Oh Lord, here we go. Hi guys, my name is James. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a 16 year old makeup artist from New York and I run the Instagram page J Charles Beauty. Lately, literally 150% of my comments have been You need to make a YouTube channel. You need to make tomorrow on this book. So, here I am on YouTube in front of my camera with my lights, with a whole lot of makeup in front of me, making a tutorial. And I can't believe I'm doing this, but it's about damn time. Today, I did this blue, brown, and green trio chrome look. I'm gonna call it Serpent. And if you guys wanna see how to recreate this makeup look, make sure to keep on watching. Also, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials coming soon. Hi guys, I'm going to be starting off today using my Benefit Porefessional Primer. I have a million little bumps and pores all over my face, so doing this would really help me smooth everything out and get an even foundation application. Next, I'm going with my LA Girl Pro Color Correcting Concealer in orange, just to color correct my 5 o'clock shadow and my under eye circles. If you don't have this problem, obviously don't color correct because this is not pumpkin glam, but uh, if you're like me and you get negative 15 hours of sleep, this might be for you. I also color corrected my acne spots using a green color corrector also from LA Girl and then blended it out with my beauty blender. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation in the shade Y255 and just putting a bunch of little dots all over my face. Obviously we're going to blend these out later on, but it just helps create a really even application. When you're blending, don't forget to blend on your neck and on your ears too. We want a smooth transition and the last thing we need is Moses parting the foundation C on your face. To highlight my face, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I'm drawing little triangles on my face, uh, in the middle of my forehead, in the middle of my chin, on my mustache area, and just one line down the center of my nose. This will just make all the high points of my face stand out. And then once again, blending out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm setting my entire face using Cody Airspun Powder because I am done with the liquids and creams. This will help to set everything in place and to reduce creasage. To further highlight my face, I'm going to use my Morphe E48 brush and this light color from my Lunatech Cosmetics Contour Lab. This color usually comes in the contour palette, but I actually depotted it and just put it in my Z palette with all my other contour and highlight shades. Once again, I'm just putting this on all the high points of my face. To contour today, I'm using my Morphe M523 brush and my Makeup Geek Contour Pans. These colors are literally so good and they are so pigmented. I'm using the shade Warm Fair today just to create a nice basic contour. And I'm going on my cheekbones, my five head, and on my jawline to really carve everything out and make my face look super defined. Next, to further define my contour, I'm using the same brush as before and Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. It is an eyeshadow, but I never use blush in my look, so this really helps to just warm everything up. Next, I'm just baking my face using my, once again, Cody Airspun Powder and my Powder Puff. I'm just drawing two really harsh defined lines from the tops of my ears to right above the corner of my mouth. This will help really carve out that contour. And with whatever's left on the powder puff, I'm just going to put underneath my eyes and in the center of my forehead because I literally use so much facial expression when I talk. My face creases so badly, so doing this helps decrease the creasage, if that makes any sense. Now to start the eyes. I did my brows off camera just because I tried and the angles turned out so bad. I promise I will do a brow tutorial later on, but for now we're just going to stick with this. So to start off, I'm using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and my Morphe M441 brush just to uh, get a nice transition shade going in my crease. For this entire look, I use my Morphe 35K palette. Since the shades don't have actual names, I'll just be like describing them. Really, all you need to know is that I used a light, a medium, and a dark brown to create the halo eye effect, and then obviously I'm going to be going into blues and greens later on. To further define that halo eye, I'm using my Morphe M441 and once again just a medium brown tone from the 35K palette. I'm putting that in the inner and outer V's of the eyes and then just taking whatever excess product is left and going in windshield wipers just to define that crease. Now I'm using my Morphe M509 and a darker brown from the 35K just to further define the inner and outer V's and once again the crease. Same thing, just really keep darkening that halo eye and making sure there's a nice even transition. Once I have nothing on that brush, I'm just going in my lower and upper lash line just to make sure everything is super blended out. 
Now for the pop of color. I'm spritzing my flat definer brush with Max Fix Plus and then going into the Makeup Geek Houdini. I'm just packing this all over the center of my lid and making sure to blend it up to my crease, but not taking it up too far because we don't want it to get muddy and gross looking. Next I'm going in with Typhoon. It's a Makeup Geek dual chrome eyeshadow, it's just green and blue, and I'm focusing that right on the center of the lid, and that's just with a tiny Morphe definer brush. I'm just going back in with my M509 and a dark brown from the 35K just to make sure the, all the edges are super blown out and there's no harsh lines. In the waterline, I'm just going in with the Italia Deluxe Eye Pencil in Turquoise. I got this at the Morphe store. If you don't have this eye pencil, you can easily just do black. It's really up to you, but I wanted another pop of color on the bottom. I actually lost the clip, but I did use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean just to mimic the halo effect that we have going on on the upper lid. And then once I did that, I'm just going back under the lower lash line to blend everything out and connect it back up to the top. I'm just going in now with my favorite mascara, Benefit Roller Lash. It's so good and makes my eyelashes look so long and not clumpy, so I would definitely recommend. I applied my falsies off camera today, I used the Black Magic Lashes in Siren. I ended up gluing my eye shot when I tried to do it on camera, so definitely not going to do that again. Anyway, <laughs> lesson learned. This is the finished eye look, sorry for the wonky lash, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera and then we can go ahead and finish the face together. To highlight, I'm just spritzing my brush again with Max Fix Plus to make it super defined and then mixing these two colors from my Anastasia Glow Kit. Now we pack that highlight on like there's no tomorrow. Remember, the goal is that your highlight can be seen from space and that you blind everybody walking by. I always highlight my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow just because I think it looks cute. For my lips today, I'm using Ofra Brooklyn. You guys always ask what lip good lipsticks I like best, and they're definitely Ofra. The formulation is so good, and they don't dry crusty and gross like so many other brands do. As an optional last step, I went ahead and I added Houdini all over my lips just for a cool duochrome effect. And that, guys, is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!